The F-22 Raptor is one of the best fighter jets to ever fly, with insanely capable stealth capabilities. And yet, the YF-23 was a competitor to the F-22 and could have taken the Raptor's place. Here is what one expert had to say on the subject. The YF-23 looked like a vehicle from science fiction, maybe Independence Day or something. With a distinct trapezoidal wing, a dropping duckbill-shaped nose, a pushed-forward cockpit, and a V-shaped tail, the YF-23 cut a memorable image. Northrop only made two YF-23s. The first, named Black Widow II, relied on two Pratt & Whitney engines to reach a top speed of Mach 1.43. The second YF-23, nicknamed Grey Ghost, featured General Electric YF-120 engines and could hit Mach 1.6. Whereas the YF-22 featured thrust vectoring technology, the YF-23 had conventional fixed-engine nozzles. Resultantly, the YF-22 was the more maneuverable aircraft. Although, thrust vectoring nozzles increase a jet's radar cross-section, meaning the YF-23 had better stealth performance than the YF-22. The YF-23 also outperformed the Lockheed fighter concerning operational range. Yet the Northrop team fell short where, perhaps, it counts most. Marketing and Reputation Northrop was in the Pentagon's doghouse, as the B-2 program had been delayed and over budget. Additionally, Lockheed really made an effort to wow Pentagon decision-makers during the ATF's flight testing phase. Lockheed went hard. Operating the YF-22 at high angles of attack. Firing missiles, yanking 9 grams maneuvers. The Pentagon was impressed. Northrop on the other hand, approached the flight tests more reservedly, cautiously. Could the YF-23 have kept up? Probably, yes. We'll never know because Lockheed won the contract and the YF-23 was mothballed. And at twist of irony, Lockheed's F-22 development would hit a series of delays while going way over budget. Leaving some to wonder. Was the YF-23 the better plane?